What is going on everybody? It has been a minute since I have given you an update on my life. So um, here we are. You can see I have a different background behind me. I have moved to San Diego. i um, been here a couple months. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to break this down into a couple, you know, updates on my life, my professional life, my business, uh, my personal life, a little bit of stuff there. Um, and uh, some things that I've been learning. So hopefully you get some value out of this video um, and then we'll kind of go into the direction of the channel and some of the other videos and stuff that I have that I've been working on. So let's start off with um, some life stuff. I've been traveling a lot, which has been amazing. And one of the things which I'm gonna talk about in this video in depth is a trip that I did to Spain. Um, in this trip, I went to a conference with a group of 29 other coaches, not all fitness coaches. There were a few other fitness coaches, but coaches in a lot of different industries, a lot of them who are doing really, really well and are at the top of their respective industry. So it was really cool for me to be able to go see that, um, from a, a business update on my end. I've now worked with over 60 people, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so that's, you know, that's exciting. Got some, you know, in terms of like things that are coming out video wise, um, have some client updates, case studies, and things that have been working really well, which I'm super excited to share with you guys. Um, also created a full backend course for my program as well. Um, just kind of like, you know, now that I work with a very specific person, um, just kind of, you know, answering a lot of the questions that come up and creating a database of knowledge, because as you guys, you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I used to be in education, work for Teach for America, all that good stuff. And so I, I love the idea of like, just like transferring knowledge, like teaching, right? Um, and so... I had a lot of fun building that out and been getting some good feedback on that from the clients of my program. So those are some like business updates. Um, but anyways, back to the conference and to Spain. So it was genuinely life changing to go there. And I like, I don't use that term lightly um, because what it did was it just kind of like opened my eyes to a, a different way of life than I, that I've never seen before. Because when I went to this conference, like going into it, I was very nervous. I had imposter syndrome. I was like, I am a nobody compared to a lot of these people that are going. And like, you know, what if they're like mean and they don't, you know, I don't even like vibe with any of them and um, whatever. And I, I kind of knew a few of them, like I'd had, you know, some, some conversations online with a few of them. So I knew like, okay, I'll get along with a few of them, but, but still I was kind of nervous. I felt like I didn't belong there. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but when I got there, everybody was one, so kind, two, extremely down to earth. And like, these are people that are doing like really, really well. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't want to like name drop them, but like there are people that went to this conference that are like, okay, that's my neighbor's dog. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but there are people that went to this conference that are millionaires. Like, <laughs> like it's crazy. And it's not just like, it's not even about the money lens of it. It's just like them, them being a millionaire and being so successful at their business just shows how good of a coach they are, right? Um, and that's like ultimately, you know, what money, another thing I've come to terms with is I realize like money is just a measurement of exchange of value. If you're really good at what you do and you get people phenomenal results, you're going to, you're going to make a lot of money, you know? Um, and I think I used to have this lens in my mind where I was like, successful people are bad or they're evil or they just are greedy and all they care about is money. Nobody there, like like cared like nobody was like flexing on everybody or like doing all the things that I thought wealthy people did it just I don't know there were so many pieces of that that blew my mind but what I wanted to share with all of you specifically who are watching this video 
is a couple of the key takeaways that I got from just really like, if you want to be successful at anything in life, what are, what are like the mindsets and the beliefs and like the thought process to making like a vision and a goal or whatever, like a dream, I guess, into a reality. Um, Cause this is something that I've been, I've been studying for the past couple years and I feel like, and I, I don't say this to, um, I'm not trying to say this to be like arrogant or whatever, but I, I feel like there have been certain things that I used to dream about doing. I'm like, oh, if I could just like do this in my life, that'd be so awesome. And now it's like starting to come true. Like things that I put on my vision board a year ago or six months ago, like are coming true. And it's not because I just sat there dreaming about it, which is what I used to do like five years ago. It's, it's because I've like created action plans to move towards those things. So anyways, if you, sorry, my, my SD card ran out of space. Um, what I was saying was if there's a goal that you have in your mind that you're like, oh, I, like I really would love to achieve this thing, but I'm not getting to where I want to go. Then this is, this is for you because this is, that's exactly how I have felt in multiple areas of my life. And as I've started to advance and reach and achieve those things, like this is what I've been learning. And this is also what I saw in all of those, those, um, business owners that were there, um, is they, they don't have an ego. Like everybody there just did not have an ego. Everybody was there to learn. And also nobody there was afraid of investing in themselves. Like they just were like, you know, even like ridiculous amounts of money. Like some of them paid $10,000 to be there and they didn't even blink. They were like, I mean, I, you know, you could say, oh yeah, they're well off, but like they've rewired their minds to be like, investing $10,000 into myself is nothing. And I will gladly do it. Um, of course, as long as I can see the value and I'm going to, you know, get results from it, whatever. But it's like, just that thought process too, of like, I will, like, if there's somebody who has figured out something that I need help with, and that I'm not there yet, like, I will pay them whatever they charge to get to get me there. Like, I don't, I don't care, because time is more valuable than money. And that, I mean, that was huge. And that's something that I've done for myself at, at the point of filming this video. I know this might sound like pretty crazy to say I have spent over $50,000 on my own coaching, like on, on getting help myself, whether it comes to my fitness. I've hired multiple fitness coaches at this point. Some of them I actually worked with an IFBB pro bodybuilder for five months, um, like to coach me. Um, I've, I've hired multiple like fitness coaching business coaches, um, gotten certified, like paid for all these certifications, um, hired like marketing coach, like a, uh, behavior change coach, like <laughs> so many different things that have helped me grow different skills that I've realized that I need to like achieve the goals that I want and to be the version of myself that is worthy of, of achieving those things, you know, cause that's, that's really what it is. It's even like, I tell my clients when it comes to fitness to, you know, to get to where you want to go, you have to first start acting like that person. You have to act as if it's already happened. Like I'll have people come to me 50 pounds overweight. Like I want to drop 50 pounds. I'm like, okay, you need to start acting like, you've dropped the 50 pounds. You need, what that means is like, you have to start acting like a fit, healthy person. Cause if you start acting like that, the results will catch up, right? Like if you just ask yourself every day, what would a fit, healthy person do right now? It's like, well, you know, I only have 20 or 30 minutes. A fit, healthy person would probably squeeze a workout in anyways, right? The old version of me would have just like gone on my phone for that half hour and then told myself, well, I didn't have time because I was too busy, right? It's like, um, it's just, it's like rewiring the mind to think like that. It's the same with like business, you know? What would, if I was the version of myself that's an elite CEO that's running a multi-million dollar business because it's so good and gets our clients such phenomenal results at scale, like 
like, what would I be doing? What, how would I be spending my time? What would my character traits be? What habits would I have built? And what habits would I uninstall that I currently do now? Um, and I, like, those are questions that the guy who is leading this, um, one of my mentors, like, those are the questions he had us reflect on. And that's what I ask myself every day is like, it's not, it's not just about the end result. It's about who do I have to become? Because if I become that person, the end result is guaranteed. It's just a matter of time till the outputs catch up to the inputs. Like if I've become the person I need to be to get that result, then it's only a matter of time before I do actually get that result. If I become the person who's healthy and fit, like in their day to day, then eventually my body will look like that and my energy will feel like that and my self-esteem will feel like that, you know? If I, like, if I become the person worthy of being an elite CEO who has a team under me, who are all bought into the vision, all love the mission and what we stand for and what we're working towards, then I will build a multi-million dollar company. You know, it's like, it's not even a, it's not even a question of if I will, it's just like, when, when will that result catch up to the person I've become? And I'm not saying I'm there yet. I haven't become that person yet, but I'm like, I'm working towards it. And I think in just in anything, I just, I keep learning this lesson over and over in anything. It's like identity, change your behavior, and then your results will, will follow. Um, and, and just like to remind myself over and over too, like to not be afraid to invest in myself, right? I used to, I used to read all these books on investing and like, oh, the S and P 500. And if you put this in now, like you make an 8% return. And like, that's how you, you know, secure yourself for the future. And it's like, yeah, I mean, that's great. But you know, let's say I put $10,000 into that. Or what if I put $10,000 into me, you know, like invested into my skills? What if, what if I put like, $5,000 into my health, you know, what's, what's going to be more valuable to me 20 years from now, you know, like that money in the S and P 500, which will grow, you know, whatever, a little bit or being fit and healthy for my kids that I have hopefully one day, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I've just, I just started to ask myself these questions a lot. I know I'm kind of rambling at this point, but um, this is like helpful at all or giving you any ideas, like comment below, let me know what your biggest takeaway from this video is. But I just kind of wanted to come on here, give you guys a bit of a life update, share some of the things that I've been learning. Um, and uh, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to share is just kind of the future of the channel, what you can look for. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more case studies of breaking down like my client results, because I have a lot of really cool transformations um, to share with you guys. So uh, gonna be doing more of those, more interviews with my clients so that you know everybody watching can get some value from that, kind of learn like what they're doing, what's working, why it's working. Um, and a little bit more, if you guys want, I can do a little bit more behind the scenes on like the business side of things, what I do on a day-to-day. -day. I don't know if you guys care or want to see that um if you do comment below and then you know we could see i can see about you know doing something like that um yeah i've been i mean i've been training a lot too i i love it it's the backbone of my life um and obviously you know if i'm going to be a health and fitness coach i need to be in good shape for my clients uh, but i haven't really like documented it or filmed it or anything recently um so yeah i don't know Maybe I can, maybe I can do some updates on that, but honestly, let me know in the comments, like, you know, what I can do to provide some more value and support you guys. And if you have any questions for me that I can help with, um, drop them below, but yeah, it feels good to just have a video like this sitting down talking to you. Um, haven't done that in a while, so <laughs> feels good. Just, you know, just a little, a little coffee chat here with uh with zach even though i don't drink coffee actually it's a little protein shake chat with me um so yeah i'm gonna wrap this one up here if you enjoyed this hit the thumbs up button to let me know um and uh, yeah.
yeah. See you in the next one.